you have an intention for the thing and that the intention is going to determine the outcome. And I want you to live the dream because I'm not living the dream because I'm special. I'm living the dream because I was obedient to the call of the dream. So often we spend our lives wishing and hoping and hoping and wishing and desiring things. This is what I know for sure. You don't get what you wish for. You don't even get what you hope for. You get what you believe. You can work on micro habits with regards to your conscientiousness. And I think the best micro habits is to set up some aims for yourself, goals that you actually value. Well, all right, you're going to have to put some effort into your life. And you need to be motivated to do that. And so what are the potential sources of motivation? Well, you could think about them in, in the big five. But then there are dimensions that you want to consider your life across. And so we ask people about, well, you know, if you could have your life the way you wanted it in three to five years, if you were taking care of yourself properly, you know, what would you want from your friendships? What do you want from your intimate relationship? How would you like to structure your family? What do you want for your career? The dream is greater than anything that I could have imagined. I am responsible for the choices that I make in my life. I am responsible for every action. There is an equal and opposite reaction. So what does that mean? That means everything that you are putting out into the world, every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. It means no matter what you do, you are responsible for the energy that you are pulling out into the world because that very energy is coming right back to you every single time, whether you believe it or not, because it is law. It is law. It is law that what you put out into the world is coming back. I want you to think about those goals. I want you to taste them. I want you to internalize it. I'm telling you to dream your dream because I want you to feel it. I want you to taste it. Hard work pays, I always thought. It's not paying for me, it's not over for me. I'm immediately gonna launch myself into training for professional wrestling. I couldn't have launched myself with that type of training that I did every day for hours in a boxing ring that was stiff like concrete. Every day for hours, I couldn't have launched myself with that type of mentality had I not fallen on my face after 10 years of football failed. You've got to have a dream session. You've got to take out 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and you've got to actually go in a room, close the door, and you've got to see yourself doing it. You've got to feel yourself doing it. And you want to be happy, but you got to get there. It's a shortcut to getting there. Identify your gift and get busy with it. God gave all of you a gift. Identify your gift. It is the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your gift. Get busy at that. He put that gift inside of you. He didn't hide it under a rock or put it under the mountain or put it on the mountain somewhere. He put the gift in you. Wanting to become a better version of ourselves is something everyone desires. When we don't make a plan to improve ourselves, we stay stuck or let our limited beliefs control us. But just wanting to change isn't enough. We need clear goals and then take action to make a plan for personal growth that works. You get results by doing not just talking. Thinking about problems won't solve them. Make a plan for personal growth with things you can actually do. Work hard to overcome any obstacles that stop you from reaching your goals. If you work hard and keep at it, you'll become the best you can be. Sometimes desire waits for a trigger, waits for something to happen. Who knows what the happening may be? A song, the lyrics, a movie, the dialogue, a seminar, a sermon, a book, an experience, confrontation with an enemy, a conversation with a friend who finally levels with you. Whatever the experience it is, it's so valuable. Here's my best advice. Welcome all experience.